Hello everyone, my name is Simon Reynolds and I'm the event organiser with Sun City Tri. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2021 Athlete Briefing for our triathlon. We are going to have to do things a little bit differently this year, including the normal start briefing just prior to the race start. So we thought we'd better put together an online briefing for you all to ensure you come prepared as best you can for our triathlon. Prior to the event, make sure you check all of your kit, including your bike is in good working order. Make sure if you read the athlete guide that will be emailed to you a week prior to the event and familiarise yourself with the layout of the venue and the course. Do not come to the event if you feel unwell or you have any symptoms of COVID-19, including a high temperature and a new and continuous cough or loss of smell or taste. There will be plenty of hand sanitizer in the registration area and around transition. Pay attention to the athlete guide in terms of directions to the event car parking and arrive in plenty of time. Registration opens at 6.30am in the Grand Hotel. You'll have previously been given a registration time. Please arrive at your allotted time ensuring you have your photo ID or BDF membership card. So please heed these times. You will need your race number stickers to be attached to your helmet and to your bike before you check into transition. Wear your helmet as you approach transition to rack your bike. Make sure you fill any medical information on the back of your race number. You can attach your main race number to the front or back of your race top, or you can use a race belt. But if you're using a race belt, remember to rotate your number to the back for the bike leg and to the front for the run. Attach your timing chip using the ankle strap to your left ankle. Once you have entered transition and assembled your race equipment, you can place your bag on the inside of the transition fence. Put your wetsuit on and make sure you have your swim cap and goggles and get ready to head for the allotted swim time on the beach, which again, you will have been emailed. Head to the open beach at the bottom of Dyklands Road, maintaining social distancing. I highly recommend you arrive on the beach several minutes before your start time and enter the water to acclimatize to the water temperature, making sure you are at the swim start pen at the correct time. You will enter the water in groups of six at 30 second intervals. Your race time will be calculated correctly based on which wave you are in. There are time and mats at transition, so your split times will be recorded. The swimming course can be seen in this graphic. The swim is approximately 750 meters. You will swim in a clockwise direction in a simple triangle, keeping the boys on your right shoulder. At the end of the swimming course, the swim exit is marked by two red flags on the beach. If you get into trouble in the water and you need assistance, roll onto your back, put your hand in the air, and a member of the RNLI safety team will come and support you. On exiting the swim, run up the beach and up the steps, turning left onto the promenade path towards transition. From leaving the water, this is approximately a 300 metre run. When you enter transition, find your bike and remove your wetsuit. Make sure you put your helmet on before you touch your bike and make sure you're wearing your race number on your back. Push your bike to the mountain line and cross the line before getting on your bike. Be wary when you are leaving transition as you are entering a main road on a gentle ascent. So make sure you're in a low gear. The bike course is a total of four laps. It is the athlete's responsibility to complete the correct number of laps. Please ensure you're following the British Triathlon rules at all times. Key things to remember, there, are, there is no drafting, no riding in packs. You must be 10 meters from the bike in front of you unless you are overtaking. No littering, no dangerous riding. Please ride on the left and overtake on the right. Do not be tempted to try and overtake on a technical section or on U-turns. There is one no overtaking zone on the bike course. Anyone overtaken within this zone will receive a penalty. It is a relatively short area, so do not be overly concerned. There is a link in the top right corner of this video which details the bike course. When you finish the bike leg, leave the main road onto the path immediately after turning right at the roundabout just next to transition. Dismount your bike before the dismount line and wheel your bike to transition. There are no aid stations on the bike or run course, so please remember to come prepared with a bottle. In transition, place your bike on the rack before you remove your helmet. Put on your running shoes and head towards the run out sign in the top right hand corner of transition making sure your main race number faces to the front. The run is five kilometers. Again, I have added a link in the right hand corner of the video, which details the run course information. As previously mentioned, there are no aid stations on the run course. So if you do require drink or nutrition, you will have to carry it with you, but please do not litter. 
When you finish crossing the finish line, you'll be asked to remove your own time and chip and place it in the buckets provided. We would normally do this for you, but this year we need to maintain social distancing. There will be bottled water in the finish area. Please help yourself. Once you finish, do not congregate in the finish area. Find your friends and family and remain socially distanced. If you do need to enter transition to collect your bike and bag, please speak with one of the transition marshals who will allow you in, but do not obstruct anyone else who is still competing. There will be a prize presentation at the finish, weather permitting. If the weather's too bad to carry out the presentation, we will forward all prizes on in the post. We hope that you have a really good event. If you have any questions, just send me an email and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday.